whole game day, filled with anguish, continued to lament and cry bitterly to the mother. Why she keeps hearing voices on her head? Why she's the only one hearing voices? Because it now looks as if she's getting mad every day. How would the voice tell her to go to the palace and tell them something? Who is she? She's just a mere commoner, a mere peasant. Who would listen to her? People would think that she's mad. All sort of things keep entering her head. Then her mother had to console her and then open up to her. Now told her that the father, before he died, had the same gift. And the gift was always telling him to go to the king. The voice kept telling him to go to the king, which he never did till he died. So this time around, Ogemdi should obey the voice. And as they were talking, the voice still came and said, Ogemdi, move to the palace. And immediately she got up and then, you know, with this bold confidence and anger inside of her, she marched straight to the palace. On getting to the palace, she met with the king and she told the king that, Prince Sebastian won't be the heir apparent to the throne, that it will be Prince Chike. Then the owner who was with the king started, you know, insulting uh, Ogemdi, told her that is it because the king allowed everybody to come to the palace that she will come and utter such rubbish? And then Ogemdi continued saying no, that she knows what she's saying, that in fact, if the king wants to see the end from the beginning, that he should place her, rather he should place his hand on her palms as she knelt down. And then uh, the king's only daughter came out when she heard that uh, Prince Sebastian wouldn't be crowned the king or wouldn't be the heir apparent to the king. She was so furious and actually wanted to chase Ogembi out of the palace. But the father, that is the king, refused and ordered her to leave. She got upset, left, and even met the mother on the way and just bushed her. Then the king now placed his palm on Ogembi's hand. Then we now had a flashback, the flashback where the king was telling the queen, that is the first wife, Queen Oledu, that he is about to get another wife. Then Ole, Queen Oledu was like, why will you get another wife when I am here for you? And then the king insisted that he is the king, that he must do whatever he wants to do. And as a matter of fact, that this woman that he's about to bring is pregnant for him. You could imagine the disappointment on the on Queen Oledo's face. She was so disappointed, she was so angry because she told the king that they built the empire from the scratch. Now he's not the king. Then he decided to like move into another woman with another woman. She knew that another woman coming into her heart would take away the king's affection. And that is exactly what happened. And before you know, the king brought the queen Isoma to the palace. She was still okay. She was still talking nice. We didn't know that she was a devil in disguise. And then problems started when the king's affection moved from Queen Oledo to Queen Ijoma, even to the extent of even going out together on functions that Queen Oledo is supposed to go. This made Queen Oledo very jealous and then the fight ensued. But even as a dad, the king would always take side with the second wife, that is Queen Isioma, which made the um, Queen Oledo very angry. They even had to fight over, over who sleeps in the king's bed, even who takes over the palace who stays in the palace. But it was obvious that the king never had any affection for Queen Oledo anymore and continuously moving with Queen Isioma. But what I, can, I could deduce from the whole thing is that Queen Isioma didn't come empty hand. She came with something that took away the king's affection from her, from uh, Queen Oledo to her. That is what I, I am just saying though. I may be wrong. So now the, queen, the king now have two wives who are equally pregnant for him. Then one day, Ono would suggested to the king that for peace to reign between the two wives, he has to separate them and also treat them equally, like give them different apartments. And do you know what he did? It was now Queen Oledo that he now directed to move to the boys' quarter. Why the junior wife, Queen Ijoma, will not, Isioma will not stay in the main house with him? That is really, really unfair. That is why the, king, the queen was so angry. And when she came to confront the king, Queen Isioma chased her out. And the king couldn't do anything. So they chased her out. And that was what we saw in the beginning of the movie. When they chased her out, they chased her out without her son. Even the king was pleading for Queen Isioma to give her her son. But she refused and said that she was going to take care of the son. That is Prince Chike when he was still little. And then out of anguish and everything, Queen Olorido got angry, cried bitterly, and went to their stream, Miriam where she swore an oath that Prince Sebastian would not become the king apparent, her apparent to the throne, that he won't step on the throne. So now the onus lies on the king. How is he going to make Prince Chike the heir apparent to the throne instead of the son, Prince Sebastian? 
When um, the queen, Isoma, heard of this, she was very furious and angry and decided that it was never going to be possible because of a mere peasant, a mere commoner, who actually might be formulating these whole lies, which we all know that it is a blatant lie. And on the way out, that is, on the way out of the palace, Ogim the met Prince Chike on the road, like when he was coming into the palace, and they both looked at each other surprisingly because then she never knew that he was a, a Prince Chike that she was talking about, and he never knew that she was the Ogim the, the seer. And then she ran away. And then on another scene, chose Prince Chike begging uh, Ogemdi to be the wife. But Ogemdi refused because she knew that peasants cannot associate with the royalty. It is unhelpful, especially in that community. So she ran away because she knew that it was impossible. But Prince Chike claimed that he loved and loves um, Ogemdi, that he doesn't care what they say. So I really don't know how this is going to end because the Queen Isioma will never, she has vowed never to allow Prince Chike become the heir apparent to the throne as long as she is alive. And yet the cause, she never even thought about all she is after is becoming the queen or letting her son become the king. Let us see how it unfolds. So sit back with us and also subscribe so that with the next episode we'll be able to review it and get you more information. Thank you very much and have a nice day.